Hi, it's Dr. T. I'm back in the laser suite today, and I'm not going to talk about laser, but I thought you guys would be interested in seeing what happens when you end up getting injections, no matter how popular, of a substance that's not FDA approved. Um, in this case, it's silicone, a very popular injection, um, used to be popular in the States, uh, but also abroad, whether it's Latin America, South America, Europe, a lot of people going to fancy offices and getting silicone injections. Now, the silicone, while it's an inert substance, can cause a granulomatous reaction, meaning people can get an allergy or develop bumps. Like in my patient here, who has had um, these bumps and came into me, and the only way to get rid of them is either to cut them out, which is not very nice because the bumps are right there in the middle of her brow, or to inject um, what we're doing, which is a little bit of cortisone and 5-fluorouracil to break up that silicone and cause less inflammation in the tissue. So what we're doing now is we're going to remove the top anesthetic cream that we put on the area anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes ahead of time to numb the area up and I'm just wiping this off with some gauze and I'm going to go ahead and inject the, the solution into the bumps and you can see here that she has these hard bumps in the area um, I'm going to just put a little ice on there and then we're going to go ahead and do an injection here we go good job fantastic you okay Mm -hmm. She is amazing because this burns a little bit. She's really quite good. So we did one injection on the left pump there and, and then another one here on her left side, which is our right side. It burns a little bit. So we're going to put an ice pack on there right afterwards. We're just putting that in to diminish the um, inflammation and the swelling. And I give her a good month in between to see how she does. We're just going to put a little ice right on there. That's it.